Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. On this week, we're talking summarizing your RV. Let's tackle water systems. So now you have your RV, it's been sitting out. You've had it winterized and it's been sitting out for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, some of you a couple of years. Why would you drink that water? I and mean, a lot of you, that's all you do is you go and dewinterize your system and you just fill that tank back up. That is nasty puke, that's gross. Why would you drink that water? So let's talk about sanitizing your water system. One of the, really, one of the best things that we can do is put a, a chemical in there that kills everything, and that is bleach. And I know that bleach is popular for some, and also bleach is very questionable for others. Let's look at what the regulations are. What we want to do in the best regulations when we're talking about disinfecting with bleach water, what we want to do is be a, you know below the 200 parts per million. As a matter of fact, we're at 50 parts per million. Well, what does that equate to? That is one cup of standard Clorox bleach to every 50, five zero, wait, you're looking at this way, five zero. So one cup to every 50 gallons of water, right? One cup of bleach to every 50 gallons of water. You wanna put that in your holding tank, fill the holding tank all the way up, put in all 50 gallons and let it sit there overnight. Give it eight to 12 hours. What that is, that's the proper amount to go ahead and uh, amount of bleach and amount of time to kill off everything that's been inside that holding tank. Now, don't be fooled. I know that there are some videos out there in the RV space that will double that amount. They say, well, you don't have eight to 12 hours. Why don't you just double, put in two times the amount of bleach? The problem is, is bleach is caustic and it's gonna eat your rubber fittings. And we don't wanna damage your rubber lines simply by cleaning them out. So stick to that one cup to every 50 gallons of holding. So put that uh, cup of bleach in there and let it sit for, that's right, eight to 12 hours. Come back the next day, dump all that out, fill it back up, clean it all out, and there you have it. Question is, how do you get that cup of bleach in your holding tank? Super simple. Take your water hose, where you're gonna fill up the holding tank. Pour that cup of bleach in the water hose. Take your water hose, connect it to your RV, and begin to fill up. Now you get that cup of bleach in the holding tank and you just keep rinsing that out because of course you're adding water. Again, at the end of the day, you just simply open that up or the next day, open that up, drain that out, clean it one more time. Now, after you drain that out, fill it back up, you're well below the amount of bleach that it takes to actually even make it caustic to you. So rinsing it out, very simple. And that's a good way to summarize your holding tank. Now, for some of you, you watched the first one and I kind of mangled some of my syllables. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I think I was talking about pipe thread, national pipe thread, which is NPT, and I said NTP, right? And so you're like, oh, what the heck is NTP? Is this a new kind of thread? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? It's kind of like when we get over the water heaters. Is it a PNT valve or a TNP valve? It all depends on which industry you're in and how you have to say it. I'm a tech, I'm stupid. Right, so if I say national pipe thread and I say NTP, it's NPT. Get off me. It was free, took two minutes of your time, and there's your tech tip. If you wanna be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you wanna open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs, and get started today. All right, I got any cheese. All right. Hey, let's talk about the second, well, mm -hmm. a little bit of water. You have a little bit of water sitting in your holding tank, right? Let me start over. I got like this guy. Can you move over this way just a bit? Take one step over. You, that way. Yoink, thank you. Nope, half a step that way. There we go. All right. I was getting blinded by the stupid car out there. I don't know. Which one is it? This way. 5-0.